Hello there. So Phoenix Live View 1.0 officially launched. Like a couple of months ago, they released the release candidate, but now the official 1.0 launched. And there are thousands of videos of people reading and reacting to this announcement. So I am only going to talk about two specific features that I just love about this new release. The first one is the new Higgs syntax. Now check this out. If you want to add a variable inside a front-end file from Phoenix, previously you had to use this horrendous uh, ERB syntax from Rails. This looks so, so ugly. And uh, for example, Rails had this for years and they just don't get rid of it. Nobody that I know enjoys this syntax and they just keep using it. But on the Phoenix side, that's different because the Elixir and Phoenix teams, they are so receptive to feedback. So if something goes, uh, if someone goes to the core team and say, hey, I think this is trash, they will fix it, which is amazing. It's rare to find a community that is so open to feedback like Elixir, which is contrary to Rails, for example, where it received a bunch of criticism over like Hotwire, uh, the front end of Rails, and they just don't care. They don't care. It is what it is. If you don't like it, don't use it. But on Elixir, they fix it. So now we can use this JSX-like syntax where you just use brackets. It makes complete sense, in my opinion. And I don't have to use this weird syntax of percentage and equal sign. This was so ugly that whenever I had to interpolate a variable in Phoenix, I I copied a variable from another file, pasted, and then changed the name. So this is huge. And another one that is very cool, where is it? Interactive uploads, not this one. Streams and async. Now, I am a very big fanboy of the Remix team from JavaScript. And now they're working on React Router. So this feature is initially from Remix, but they ported it to React Router which is streaming the response. So let's say, for example, that you're working with an e-commerce. You have your product page and below the product, you have a product recommendations uh, component. Now, this is not mandatory. You can render the page as soon as the product is ready to show. And then you defer the product's recommendations component to show on the page later after the query is finished. So you can do this with React Router by simply returning a promise from the loader. So instead of running, for example, uh, await db.query.product uh, recommendation, you do not await it. So you return a promise from the loader and then you inside your UI, you wrap your promise with this ugly syntax of React Suspense, with a fallback while you're waiting to load and then wrap it with a wait. Uh, this is cool, but I think it's very ugly, the syntax, but it's good to be able to defer an expensive calculation or expensive query from the database, because if you show it immediately on the screen, then the page is gonna take a long time to load and you don't wanna do that. So let's defer the non-essential data to later. And now you can do that with live view. Check this out. Inside your mount, let's say that you have a very expensive database query. Instead of running your regular assign to assign a variable to the front end, you run assign async. And then you tell the name of your variable followed by a function that you're going to call. And once that function resolves, then you're going to render that section on the front end. And instead of using that ugly syntax from React Suspense and Await, you have this syntax from Phoenix. You wrap your async component in async result, where you assign the async result that you're waiting for. And once this finish, uh, finishes loading, then you have this variable available to you. And you, not only that, but you have two other uh, slots that you can add inside your component. So this slot called loading, I mean, as the name implies, it's going to run automatically 
while you're waiting, waiting for the org variable to be available. If something goes wrong, then you're going to display the failed slot. And if everything goes well, then you're just going to display the org name. This is extremely cool. I am very happy that the Phoenix team are open to feedback and they are taking lots and lots of inspirations from React. And I cannot say the same for other ecosystems, but Phoenix and Elixir, they are very open to feedback. So thank you core team from Elixir and Phoenix. Those are amazing changes. And that's it for today's video. See you next time.